I think that The Iron Giant is uh, one of those films that uh, really stick with you. Only two films have ever made me cry. Kung Fu Panda 2 and The Iron Giant. During that scene where he learns how to fly and he, he puts his hands up in the sky, uh, I think me and Izu like spared in our seats and we both cried like really long. I love how uh, Brad Bird got us to care a lot about a monotonous, a hulking <laughs> hunk of metal. That was pretty good. Yeah, I think like the film's like one of those films you watch when you're a kid and you know it has like lots of positive messages and I cried at the part where they were like talking about the souls can't oh, die and yeah. stuff. I, I really enjoy the 2D and 3D animation, the mix and I, I really do love 2D animation, hand-drawn animation, the way they combined it was excellent. I think the animation was gorgeous, the attention to detail, the uh, mixture of, of course, as we mentioned before, the mixture of 3D and 2D. I feel like they did a really good job of mixing, I mean, there are 3D movies like Wreck-It Ralph, 2D movies like Treasure Planet, I think, yeah. They simulated a uh, shallow depth of field, like blurring out the things out, you know, close to the foreground and the background, that was pretty cool. But that added to the, you know, production production value. I think I think it's uh, better than than what the 3D animation is going like trying to go through, like trying to go for uh, these days. I don't know. I don't I don't remember like the the, the last uh, 3D film that really stuck with me except for Wreck It Ralph. Or... Oh, it was it was really beautiful. I mean, it was like uh, those old movies, yeah. When you watch, you know those sorts that you buy from the the direct to DVD purchase that kind. Yeah, it was it's really simple but you know you somehow it feels special. And what do you think of like the 2D and 3D mixture? In this case obviously it was uh, seamless and it, it was really beautiful beautifully done just like another animated thing I know. The paperman, the thing that came before Wreck It Ralph. That was also a good use of mix of 3D and 2D traditional animation. I like the 2D better. Yeah, 3D, the 3D uh, seemed kind of out of place. Like, that one scene where the giant just goes apeshit. I think it just like, just like stuck out, like it was kind of jarring. It's probably the only movie I would comment that it was an emotional roller coaster. It really did. Uh, I was happy, I was sad, and I really did love the ending and the climax of the whole film. You can choose who you want to be. <laughs> that's true though. Yeah, that's true. The film taught me, uh, I guess, a lot about characterization and how uh, very few lines can make you care about the character a lot just by, you know, actions. You know, more, less is more sometimes, I guess. I think that it could be seen as a child, like a children movie, but all the messages that, uh, that hog off uh, taught all of us uh, could be could also be looked at as uh, really mature mature teens. I think it's a film that both children and adults could really enjoy in different perspectives.